Hi, I'm John Stolpe from Irises Unlimited and Advanced Artificial Eyes and today I'm going to show you some more information about how we prepare an iris image for use in a prosthesis. Generally, no work is really necessary and they're ready to go right into the prosthesis. However, in certain circumstances such as a very thin prosthesis or a prosthesis that needs a um, you know, soft limbal blend or a smaller diameter, we're able to adjust the, the uh, iris image so that it can be best used into the prosthesis. And today I'm going to show you how we do this here in our office efficiently and effectively. Here is an Iris's Unlimited image as you will receive it in your mailbox. And I'm going to show you how we're going to bevel the edge, the limbal edge, that's going to help it create a softer limbus when you're finishing the prosthesis. By reducing the steepness of the curve of this outer edge, you're going to allow more sclera to form over the iris image when it's being inserted into the prosthesis. So we're gently just going to thin the limbal edge just slightly to allow more sclera to form over the iris image when it's embedded into the prosthesis. I'm going to just gently clean any paper off the outer edge just by lightly touching the back of the image, the back edge with my blade to remove any paper. I am not touching the image in any way uh, with, with my blade on the back side, just removing the paper from the edge. And what you get is kind of a, a flying saucer shaped image where more sclera will form in this area when it's encapsulated in white plastic. That's how you bevel an iris image. Alright, here is another image coming straight out of the Irises Unlimited kit at a 12.4 diameter, but in this example we're going to show you how to take it down for a patient who might have an about 11.0 diameter, 11 millimeter diameter, okay? Um, when you do this, you will be removing the limbus that comes pre-made on the prosthesis and you may, need, may want to repaint it in the scleral stage before you pack the iris and clear because the limbus will be removed as we tape, taper down this image. So I'm gonna chuck the image into the lathe, nice and flush, because it strengthens um, the piece while you're adjusting it down. It's less likely to break when it's fully uh, flush against the chuck. So I will take a sharp, a sharp uh, blade and just start to taper down this diameter. And we're shooting for about an 11 millimeter diameter. And again, I'm flipping the blade over and just taking off any paper that have, has ruffled on the back. Let's measure and see where we're at. That is an exact 11.0 diameter and you can still see just a little bit of a limbus on here which might be perfect in this case. Sometimes you may need to paint that on afterwards if you have a thick limbus or something like that. Okay, this is a standard Irises, Un Irises Unlimited image as you will receive it as a customer. It comes to you with a thickness of three millimeters. And on the thinnest of prosthetic eyes, you may need to thin this to give yourself room to embed it in the prosthesis. And I, that's what I'm trying to show you is how we can adjust this and make it as thin as possible. 
So I take the blade and I start right over the pupil and you'll start to see the shavings come off. Sometimes I'll take the blade off so it doesn't heat itself and, and break the stem. And you want to be very gentle with the pressure that you're putting on here. The more pressure you're putting on there, the more stress you're putting right at the stem and the more likely it is to break. The slower you take this, the less heat is generated and the more likely you are to come out with a perfectly finished image. I'm going to begin to thin a little bit of the outer edge to maintain a curvature. And just take your time. Sometimes you may get a sharp or your blade may dull during this process and you may need to grab a new one or sometimes it's as simple as just changing the angle of the blade slightly and then it begins to cut again. So at this point let's check it and see how we're doing. Okay we're about a 1.25 millimeters of thickness at this point. So let's continue. You're going to take a, you know, a tenth of a millimeter or so with each pass that you do here. As you get close, take your time. We're down to eight tenths of a millimeter. Sometimes we'll measure in a couple different spots. but it should be uniform thickness as long as it's centered properly in the chuck. I think we're getting close. Wow. There is an image finished down to three tenths of a millimeter. I wouldn't go any thinner than that. This is the last step I'm going to show you in this video on how you can precisely control the depth of the image um, to control the final thickness of your prosthesis. I use a half a millimeter washer that I create using a leather punch and I simply slide it right over the stem and that essentially recesses the image about a half a millimeter into the mold so I can create an exact duplication. So again, you just simply insert the stem into the washer and it's ready to be packed into the mold. And this is ready to be packed in the, into sclera for the next stage of the prosthesis.